So if you don't know much about a Berkeley socket, this is the Berkeley socket diagram. This is how we used to have to work with sockets and see if you've never built the Berkeley socket. I highly suggest you do because this is really what happens when you do new TCP server address, right? Or if you do new TCP, you know, socket connection address and port, this is what happens. Like this is what happens right here. And so what ended up happening is that at some point in time, people looked at this diagram and said, whoa, 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 wait a second. You know what we could do? Every single one of these servers, all they really need is a URL and a port. I'm obviously simplifying here. And the result is that you just need a callback when a socket is created. And then that from that socket, you can read the data individually. Or a client, you really just need a URL and a port, and then you will get a socket back in which you can, you can listen to it, right? Instead of going through this entire whole thing going on right here. And that was a great abstraction. And then there's this realization that there's a lot of abstraction that can be made that will make programming better. And so then what ends up happening is that you start making programming better in a bunch of different places. And then you start seeing these kind of meta, you, you see this problem again, but in a meta sense, right? Where you actually have, okay, I can see that people generally want this pipeline of things to do. So we're gonna abstract it again. And we're gonna come up with the next level of something, which, generally can be very useful for a specific case, but the problem becomes is that once you leave like the atomic operations and one level of abstraction, it starts getting more and more difficult to reason about your program. There's like a certain level of abstraction that's really nice and a certain level that makes it really, really hard. And this is fundamentally why I think things like Solid, Svelte, React, view like they're all angular they're all great they're all attempting to solve a general problem which typically i feel like is just kind of impossible because it's not like this right it's not this set of things you have to do every single time that is like for like that is a prescriptive thing you must follow instead it's more like you have to every person has this unique different way of shifting through and i think generalizing abstractions tend to be extremely difficult to get right and i think they work in specific situations the situation in which the person who abstracted it thought how it should be used and so that's kind of how I think about a lot of this stuff is that one level of abstraction is it can be extremely useful. It's actually another reason why I really like the Go standard library is almost everything in the Go standard library is extremely atomic where it's like here's every single like thing that you need to hook into. And from there, you can build your one level of abstraction if you need it or you can just keep on using what we've provided you, which just allows this kind of – it just it, it has a really nice feel. But I feel like the moment that you grow past a certain point, any of these like tier two generalizations, they become extremely difficult. You start working against them as opposed to working for them or them working for you. You start to work for them, right? It becomes really painful. And so too low level and you find yourself doing a bunch of programming, too high level, you start fighting against it once you leave tutorial, right? Anyways, just a thought I've been having and I've been just thinking it's it's nice until it isn't then. <laughs> yes, it's nice until it's ass. That's pretty much like the best way to put it. And I'm going to give one last take that I think is really important for people to hear, which is everything you build, everything you do, Every project you work on will be nice until it's ass. Every breath you take, every move you make, ass will be there watching you. A gen.